Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Eastward. This is a cool looking little action adventure game, vaguely like Zelda. But uh, the gimmick with this one is, is that we play as two characters, and this is like a post-apocalyptic world where humanity's kind of retreated underground, and these a few people tried to go to the surface to explore it. A la Gurren Lagann. It seems pretty cool. I've been looking forward to this one for quite a while. There was a cool little animated cutscene at the beginning of the game that I'd like to show, so I'll go ahead and put that in right now. So yeah, I thought that was a really cool little thing to have at the beginning, kind of sets the tone and everything for the game. It seems really, really cool, and like I said, I've been looking forward to this for a very, very long time, so... Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into Eastward. Start. New game. This game uses an autosave feature, don't close the game. Wow, that was fast. Couldn't even get close. I mean, it was probably just telling me about autosaves, so... Once upon a time, in the farthest reaches of the continent, there sat a prosperous kingdom with a soaring tower that reached the clouds above. For many years, the kingdom lived in peace, until, following the tragic death of their king, the demon king disguised himself as the chancellor and claimed the kingdom for himself. Sealing off the castle from the rest of the kingdom, he locked the princess away within the tower. Day after day, the princess wept, gazing out the window at her poor kingdom below. Around that time, a young knight from a faraway land was squeezing the salt water from his cloak. Looking up from where he'd washed ashore on the beach, he saw the castle in the distance. That castle would be his destination, and the start of his adventure. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on! I lost again? But he even had the full attack skill this time. That stupid Demon King, how are you supposed to beat him? Guess there's really no way unless you get more party members. Old arcade machine? Oh crap, look at the time. Time for school. I think this is our main character here. Let's play again after school, okay? Sure thing. See you later. Alright. That's interesting, because it looks like you were found in, like, a test tube or whatever. I gotta go wake John up. Okay, so we're starting... I'm guessing John is the character that found you? Yeah. There's John, and there's our three hearts. We have a hundred... I thought those were pills at first. I don't know what that is. What? There was an interact... here. What? It's... Oh, this. Turn on. Okay, there we go. Oh, look! We have working mirrors. Awesome. Close that toilet lid. We gotta clean up a bit. Sam's coming back. 
I love this that we have a character that's like just just old, just done, dude. <laughs> it's kind of great. All right, I can rest. Ooh, inspect. Now is not the time to cook. I'm not sure what voice I'm going to give you yet, John. Need to see a bit more of your personality, I guess. Usually helps with the sighting. The prologue, the world above. Oh, look at the little, uh, look at the little dinosaur head above Sam. John, come on. The bell already rang. If we don't get back to the dig site, the mayor's gonna dock your pay. You can refrigerate your memories here, but when you take them out again, will you be? Re will the new you really be you? Save your memories. <laughs> okay, Fridge, thanks for the philosophy. Got a little plant. Well, this music's pretty good so far. I love how John just walks with his hands in his pockets. Up at the crack of dawn, bleed for every coin you earn. Must be tough being a digger. Yeah. Okay, so, hello. Men are the absolute worst. But aren't you seeing someone right now? Can't say that's very convincing coming from you. My mu my mother is different. Can you expect us to believe that? Huh, it's called love. You wouldn't understand even if I told you, dear. Okay. The, the ladies of the town being sassy to each other. Why are you crying, child? Shouldn't you be at work or something by now? I knew it. You're one of those types, aren't you? Those types? Yeah, a loser. Can never hold a job, am I right? Wow. Shit, kid. <laughs> I just walked up and talked to you and you start calling me a loser. Mean. Every day it's the same damn thing. Ain't nothing to do down here but sleep. Maybe I'll get lucky and dream me of a son today. Oh, that's depressing. Hello, is this a treasure chest or is this your generator? This is a treasure chest. Found 50 salt. How salty. Oh, salt's the currency? Oh, of course it is. Of course salt is the currency because it's needed to flavor like so much food. I've, I've seen another world where salt was the currency too. John, looking suave today as always. In a hurry again today? I expect no less from Pot Croc Isle's number one digger. Wow, this really is like Gurren Lagan. Like we even start off as diggers. <laughs> okay. Let's go. These are the porta potties, I guess. Occupied. I, I really need in there, though, man. Okay, no. If we say, like, stuff multiple times, it doesn't do anything. Ah! Okay, we're good. Do we have, like, a run or a sprint? It's backpack. Doesn't look like it. Weapons? A frying pan. A basic weapon. Also John's favorite cookware. Okay, interesting. We'll wait until we're tutorialized on that a bit more. Oh, it's the faucet. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna leave that on. There you go. I don't want to waste water. What do I look like? So that's probably the mine, right? Probably where I don't want to go. Pot Croc Isle. Okay, well that is a whole area with no music playing, which kind of intimidates me. If it isn't little Sam. Made any new friends lately? Still want to go to the world above? Ah, so Sam is an adventurer and wants to go to the world above. You're the one that gets us to go. Ooh. I like your song, Johnny. Long time since I've seen your face around here, John. It's not often you do your shopping here. Anyway, what can I get you today? Are you in a gas mask or are you a robot? I can't tell. Treasure radar called the treasure hunter's nose. It can even find the most hidden of treasures. Well, I have the salt for it. Sure, gimme. Okay. Is that what my little Wi-Fi meter up there is now? Or not Wi-Fi, um, like, uh, phone service. That's what it looks like to me, at least. I guess that's what it is. It might beep when I'm close. Mayor's estate. 
The mayor don't like to be bothered. I'd make myself scarce if I was you. Stop right there. The mayor's taking his rest. Alright. Jeez. That guy yell at me. So... How do I actually... I'm guessing the, the treasure thing is automatic. I just haven't seen anything yet. Oh, I didn't mean to go in there. <laughs> Oopsie. Alright, so... Been over there, been over there. What is this? Are, are you the mine? Oh, wait, we also haven't been down there. I didn't know this. That was a door. But I think it is. Never mind. This is, though. Rocket Cemetery. Oh, boy. Is this like a nuke? Uh, it doesn't really... Well, it might be a nuke. It doesn't look like a, you know, like, spaceship rocket. Hi, Dompe. Now, isn't this a treat? Someone with the flesh still on their bones. Care to listen to the story of an old wraith like me? Sure thing! How splendid. My normal audience has been pretty dead lately. Ahem. Long, long ago, all of humanity lived within grand houses of glass. And every person kept with them their own mystery box. Within these boxes existed limitless worlds and countless stories. Friends, family, yes, even those they loved could be found within these boxes. One day, however, the boxes shattered. And in an instant, all those many worlds disappeared. Panicked, everyone raced from their homes, wondering what on earth could have happened. It was then that they noticed. Their houses of glass were just like those boxes. As dark and black as night. So, I'm guessing what that means is people lost cell phones? Thinking that's what they're going for. Boxes. The only other thing I can think of is a TV, but... Cell phone seems more appropriate here. Looks like a box and more of a rectangle, though. Good wood. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, John. What are you doing here? Better be scooting along if you don't want to be late. John doesn't really talk much. I'll think I'll give John like a... Yeah. <laughs> kind of voice. Well, well, well. If it isn't John, heh. <laughs> Vying for a drink this early, are we? You're never better than Chuck. Don't come running to me if you pass out drunk in the sight. Oh, hey. Yeah, there is treasure. It's right there. How do I get to it, though? Hmm. If I do see it. Okay, well, I'm glad I got that. That's very helpful. Then like that. Oh, is it here? Yeah, boy. 50 salt. How salty. Cool. Alright, well, I'm really glad I bought that treasure thing ASAP. Hello, grocery. Okay, this seems like where I'm supposed to go because I got that, like, little cutscene with, um, that character. So let's try examining some of these other places. Like, what is this? I do not know. Okay, this just brings me out of here. So that's just another way to get over there. Really liking the ambiance and art and everything of this so far. It's a very, very neat idea, and I haven't seen very many other games do this kind of thing where humanity's moved underground to live like dwarves, basically. Due to an apocalypse or something. I really like it. When I when I play uh, Minecraft, I always make my houses underground because I just like to live a dwarf life. Are these just umbrellas sitting here? There's like no one holding them, I don't think. You shouldn't be here. Alright. Well, let's go over here and go towards where we know progress is. Alright. So, up here, we've been there, there's nothing in there. Hello! You're one of them diggers, aren't ya? You best be careful not to go up, up, up. Else disaster's gonna come down, down, down. Yeah, I know all about not digging straight down. You might run in the lava and lose all your diamonds. Play? Uh, top prize is that, second prize is that, third prize is that. And picks center? Excuse me, is that... Is that the protagonist of Dragon Quest 1, her Dragon Warrior 1? That's what it looks like. 
so I can play this? You don't have any tokens. Okay, so we need tokens to play this. Is this like a... Not not a gotcha machine, but the thing you, you put money in and it pulls out the little orbs and then you get a little figure? Are this... I don't, I don't know what those are called. I remember they were in Shinmu and stuff. Can't play without a memory card. Oh. John, we need a memory card to play Earthborn. Earthborn? What's... What is, okay. Makes me think of Earthbound. Hello, grocery isn't open yet. Come back once you're off work. Alright. Well then, I think that's just about everything. What is this? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I haven't found a sprint button. I thought it would be RB, LB, or B, but it's none of those. So they may not be able to sprint, like, maybe in town? Alright, let's just get to work. Enter. Wait, there's a secret here. So it's you, right? Yep. 50 salt. How salty. Just in here stealing everyone's stuff. It's the hero tax. As the hero of a video game, I'm allowed to just walk into people's houses and steal their shit. Them's the rules. I, di I didn't make them. I just follow them. Ooh, book. Oh, we can't read somebody's diary? How are we supposed to breach someone's privacy if we can't read their diary? Yeah, these weird... Umbrellas are just kind of hanging out all over the place. Maybe they're just there to protect people from the dripping from the ceiling, I guess? Neat little bit of lore. If that's so. Oh, come on, don't be so stingy. I'm only borrowing it two days tops. I'll give it back as soon as I finish it. You say that every time. Yet somehow I've never gotten anything back. That's... well... Well, 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 John's here. Mr. Punctuality as always. Your watch must have been carved by the god of time himself. And you're looking as adorable as always, Sam. Do you still remember what I taught you? Of course. Over pit, under rock, buried treasure, round the clock. In the mine, rocks go blast, safety first or you won't last. Gotta dig, gotta dig. Dig to make those riches flow. Ow. Oh. Bravo. You'll make an excellent digger one day, Sam. She sure will. Even better than John, I'd say. Uh. <laughs> We've got a problem. A big problem. S -s 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 Slugs. John, thank God you're here. Come with me. Now wait a gall darn minute. You shouldn't be running off all pell-mell like a little Sammy. It's dangerous in there. You should stay right here with your Uncle K- Uh, ch Chage, Cage, Cage. We'll protect you from them slugs. But, but I'm fine. A very good point. Sam, would you like to hear about when the mayor went up against the evil dragon? Not that one again. We get to go beat some ass. Let's go. Quest log updated. All right. Where is my quest log? Oh. Okay. I haven't I haven't been in this menu before. Yep. Save the dig site from the slug attack. Oh, okay. We have weapons. Backpack. What is this? Digger contract. Contract for pot crocs. Proc, pot croc isles diggers. Unfair, no matter how you look at it. Yeah. Makes sense. Slugs are in the cave to the west. Uh, okay, you butt bounced him? Jeez, that's rude. There you are, John. Slugs are in the cave to the west. And you, go find the key to the storeroom. We'll need the bombs in there to take care of the slug nests. Okay. Well, I don't have an attack, man. What am I gonna do, just punch these things to death? John a boxer? Alright, I guess we're going over here. Oh no, I got my frying pan. Okay, so this is your weapon. Wait, is that charge attack? Ooh, it is. Okay. What? Well, who is it? J John? Is that you, John? No answer. Must be John. 
John, don't open the door. These slugs are sapping our electricity. Unless you take care of them, we won't be able to turn the lights back on. Oh, okay. Alright, I will smash you all, slugs. Die! And let's give him a charged attack. Hiya! Yeah, you kind of dash forward when you do that as well. Uh, okay, so... I can drag these. Do I want to go down here first, though? Oh, no, that's not an exit. I thought that was an exit, kind of, because it comes out in a little alcove or whatever. Alright, you little jerk. Prepare to die, all of ye. Uh-huh. And... Big Slashy. Or, Smashy, because I'm using a... A, uh, frying pan. Who said cookware can't be dangerous? Uh, is that one eating the electric? It is. <clears throat> okay, and I just hurt myself a lot. Wow, the art for John down there looks awesome. Uh, okay, so I probably want to turn it off. Yeah, now I can slap you idiots. Prepare to get slapped. Hiya! Dead. Uh, disconnect. Reconnect. Uh, connect. Oh, I see what I'm doing here. I see what I'm doing. So, we can activate this one now. Yeah, we're, we're doing this to get access different doors, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. So, what's in here? Key? Big ol' key. Yeah, hold it up, John. Alright, so we got ourselves a key. So, I need to turn you back off. And let's disconnect you, connect you to, which allows us to get into that door. And we can see what's in here. Optional stuff, hopefully. Or bombs. The nest, John. If you don't bomb their nest, they'll just keep coming back. Oh. Okay. Oh, John. <laughs> the nest, John. Sorry, sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to walk forward again. I'm sorry. How how am I gonna bomb their nest though? I have a melee weapon. Uh. Okay. So. Why isn't this door opening? Cause you kind of. What are we towards that? No? Okay, that doesn't blow him up. So I imagine I want to get in there. Okay, do I have to undo that? Which then opens that door? No? How do I, uh, how do I get into you? Huh. Okay, color me confused. Because, yeah, you... I mean, if I connect you two, then it just goes over here to this. I don't know how I'm supposed to get in there. Let's see. Does my, uh, thingy say anything? Say it. Nope, just save the dig site from the slug attack. I thought I would need to interact with that some way. Or maybe I can come in here and talk to you. Oh, yeah, we get rid of the slugs and then I can come talk to you and you'll maybe give me something. John, you'll find bombs in the gunpowder closet. You can use them to bomb this sucker's nests. Yeah, right here. Okay. I thought that was where the bombs were held, because it looks like a thing of C4 on the door. So I was like, oh, that's where the bombs are held, but no, it's over here. Take bomb. We got bombs. Yeah, you got a bomb. You can find it in your weapons menu. Uh-huh. So how do I use said bomb? That's my next question. Oh, place a blom. Uh, a blom. Why? <laughs> Alright. Cool. I did it. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's a lot of you. Eat bomb, nerd. Uh-uh. You're so dead. Kablooey. Die. Oh, I don't get anything from the nest. I don't know. Maybe thought they had some kind of material or something. Alright. Let's activate you then. And be on our merry way. Kablooey. Alright, well I'm really, really into this so far, actually. This is super, super well made and everything so far. 
very, very happy with it. I always like these type, sorts of fun action-adventure games like this. Ooh, bombs. Bombs are replenished, yep. Go away. Ooh, you're a gold one. You took more hits, but other than that, you weren't really that different. To be honest. Uh, can I blow you up? You look like you're another... area. Like a hidden wall or something? No. Okay. Just wanted to check. Oh, there's a lot of them. Well, now you're dead. Kablooey. I like that big charge attack. Ooh, that's a bombable wall. That's a bombable wall for sure. Get out of my face, you idiots. Okay, those didn't- those had nothing in them. Cool. Alright, but what about this? Okay, it gave me a warning there. It's like there- there be treasure about. Alright, so what is it? Ooh, big chest. Found a gear part. Okay, I'm guessing that's for upgrading weapons, probably, right? I likey, I likey. Okay, but which way do we want to go now? Do we want to go that way? Which way is progress? I am not sure. That kind of looks like it leads to a dead end. I think I'll go there first. Yeah, let's go ahead and get in here. Die, die. Yep, this is just a slug nest. Okay. Smacky, smacky. And boom, boom. Goodbye. Dead. You're wrecked, nerd. Okay, so now the lights are on. Alright. Smash, smash. Uh, is that optional? That door over there? Looks like it probably is. But it might just be another slug nest. Possibly. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. Don't, don't, don't eat me. Please don't. He didn't say please don't. That was a little added bit. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? I thought you were one of those carnivorous critters. It's me, Quack Dr. B Boguda. No, no, no. I've got to stop calling myself that. I'll stop getting any patience. By the way, did you know that those slugs secrete a most peculiar gel? They do, and it can be used as an adhesive of sorts to heal wounds. That's why I'm here, to get my hands on some of that gel. Though, how I was supposed to know- How was I to know how crazed those mucolanguinous mites would be? I had no choice but to hide myself away in here. D don't don't go, please don't go. You're that- that- Yes, you're that remarkable digger, aren't you? John, was it? I heard that you were the first one to dig up your- dig yourself up a person. Yes, yes. Here, take this, would you? What we got? A hot- Ew, you got that out of, like, your shirt. I may not have been able to find any gel, but that doesn't mean I'm useless. Give that thing a try. Is it just a healing item? I imagine so, right? Yep, hot dog, common street food. Okay, so it's just a healing item, and we press LB to access this. Ow. Jerks. Uh, just keep spitting more out. There. Eat it. Nope. Away. There we go. Oh, one survived. Now it is dead. I vanquished it. Okay, so all the lights are on now. Can I go talk to you and be like, hey man, it's safe to leave? Those slugs are no joke. One zap and they'll knock you right out. They are, however, surprisingly delicious. A little sweet, a little spicy. Why, one might even be able to turn them into a medicine of sorts. Okay. So are we good now? I'm guessing so. There wasn't really any other paths from what I saw. Yeah, that's just the secret. Alright, let's get out of here then. As far as I can tell, all the lights are on, so I think we're good. Yep. John! S -s Slugs! A whole mess of them! Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming with my trusty fire. Okay. What the? Wait, you closed the- Oh, you! You make a lout? What'd you just do? Huh? Didn't you say there were slugs inside? Oh. 
Okay. Well, this is a lot of slugs. Bombs replenished. But, uh, we are at 35 minutes on this video, so, uh, I think we'll go ahead and end this episode off here. I know it's a bit of a weird spot since I'm kind of slapping things, but, yeah. I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here of Eastward. It's pretty fun so far. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to what else it has to offer. So, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.